Sometimes when you think outside the box, you can come up with something creative, like Mango you on don't Pizza. Have any this formation is no built by Mango Dorian. Is really surprised to everyone who encountered his build, how well he did with this odd commander formation. <laughs> Maggots, sleeping at gaming today, we are gonna go over Mangodorian formation build. Let's go over the lineup. We have Frodo and Sam as tank. We have Gandalf the Grey as debuffer or defense debuff or defense buff. As well as uh, Asuko as the damage dealer and Elro here as uh, damage dealer and buffer as well. Before we go over the each commander build, let me show you what this formation can do in the maggots report. In round one here, you can see Elro here doing war chant, which is a horn of parade at 30 attack, okay, to all everybody in the party. Alright, Theodin will attack first, torn by Great Beast, so they're just gonna attack. Ring Bearer did not activate, however, Gandalf the Grey, Great uh, White Council, actually protect him for 35.5% damage received. Okay, take uh, 72 physical damage. Then, Cavalier uh, from uh, Theodin here just gonna attack. Okay, but now, Great Beast. Grant avoidance by Frodo and Sam formation ring bear. So they did not take damage. Okay, so he can take less damage. Uh, if he can take a hit, Gandalf the Grey gonna protect him. But if he if he, he can also dodge the damage by ring bear from Frodo and Sam. So this is a tank unit. However, we have to go take a look at the what Great Beast does. Okay, check out check out this YEL. Each round on own turn. Three allied formation range unit next attack deal twenty percent damage. So it's also another buffer in the and it's buffed by twenty percent damage, guys. Then it have a trait of the last unit, which uh, take uh, ten percent less physical damage. So this is like uh, pretty much a very good tank unit with buff built in. All right, as you can see here. Asuko is doing 86k uh, damage. Gandalf the Grey doing 70k. Look at that. With all the buff that they are getting. And Elro here will manage to do commander damage. As well as the soldier damage pretty well. These uh, add up a uh, pretty decent amount of numbers. Let's take a look at each commander's maggots. Before we start, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel to help bring more great contents. Enjoy the video. Let's take a look at each commander. So as the Frodo and Sam here, as you can see here, uh, still purple. And equipment is pretty decent uh, compared to with the uh, evasive action. First three round formation damage received by 20. So the, the skill of these right here is already um, pretty good, right? With the last unit, that's the 10%. And uh, with these, uh, the first three round gonna be uh, an extra 20%. And then, you know, with the skill and so on, uh, it, you know, do a lot of damage mitigation right there. Ring Bearer. Formation unit have 35% chance to evade, okay? As we can already see that it did ev evade. Master of the back end, damage received by commander formation by 30. So look at this, 30 plus 20 on the first three round, and then with the last unit, that's like 60% in the first three rounds, guys. And you don't expect them to do uh, high damage anyway, but uh, but it's damage dealt by minus 20, so you don't need to care. All that job is uh, to buff and to take damage. A core here, let's take a look at what his kit does. So this is have like, for this formation, burn damage is gonna increase, okay? So basically, we are using the Flame of Fleet, which is uh, increased the uh, damage right here, as well as the Raider. 
commander formation unit have 50% chance to deal additional 50% burn damage upon dealing damage. Okay, so they, they're gonna link up with this skill right here and as well as uh, increase here if he's have higher respect I'm sure he will have to raise that and this one right here is also ally formation range unit have 40% chance to gain follow-up so 40% chance and but it's gonna deal minimal damage right however you want this to proc so you're gonna deal another 50% on top of it so that will be the extra damage that you're gonna do and I mean he's have been doing very good I can confirm this I do use him as well for my B formation and he is very good Gandalf the Grey here. We are using War Shan, uh, War Cry here. <laughs> uh, first three round formation damage plus twenty. It is a pretty smart since we have a uh, Miss Rendier here in the first four round, sixty percent chance to gain follow up, and then you uh, team up with this War Cry, okay? And he just if he follow up, he can deal a lot of damage right there. So it's about RNG too, but it's on your side, you know. This is already up, and then uh, sixty percent chance to gain extra damage. This is very, very good. Why console uh, damage mitigation? We don't need to explain. The rest of the point, we went to wizard, um, which is another smart move right there. Deal focus damage once. Okay, so every two round two, four, six, eight, and ten. So one to two formation, uh, enemy formation, which is pretty good. I mean, it's just like a, you know a little dot uh, of damage that's going through, plus the soldier damage uh, just gonna do a high burst in the first uh, three rounds. Lastly, this is my favorite. I I like him a lot too. However, I do not have him. But check this out. This is Chap Blade, so formation deal of 20% during the uh, combat, which is the whole battle, okay? Um, we are using Grey Company, which is deal 300% physical damage to two formation, deal additional 120 uh, once. This is round 3, 6, and 9. War Shan is War of, uh, Horn of Harad, so increase, um, you know, damage. Half Elven, basically, uh, this one you want to aim for level 5 at least to be raise the attack of men. Okay, we are using men. You can use Elf. In this formation though, the fun part is, uh, it doesn't matter what soldier you use behind. It's got to be men or Elf and he's a good size. So obviously, you're going to have to have those units. Uh, we, not a lot of people will use ranged dwarf unit anyway, so and that's that conclusion for this uh, bill right here the soldier damage is gonna be high because this is what this bill is all about however the problem is uh, you have to use great beasts as your um, as your tank which is um, you know that's a limit that you can get okay uh, the archers is uh, is right by Isengard area and I mean, to to hire to get the camp and hire from there. Um, most of the time, if you don't start on in that corner, it's gonna be hard for you to actually play. And, and then you have to rely on employment uh, hall, which is limited at six thousand uh, commands uh, or like six thousand um, soldier that that you can train per day. So. If you don't have the archer camp, I, I suggest using like a other um, range unit uh, instead of this archers and then uh, focus on getting the great beast. Or if you ha already have great beast uh, camp, then you can, it's vice versa, okay, it depends. But I mean, these two soldiers is, is across the map. Okay, is if you start from the east side, you you probably get great beasts. If you start on the west side, you're gonna probably want to try to get these fat archers. And yeah, other than that, guys, uh, this is uh, another exciting build that we can talk about, or we can actually use. All these commander is the, uh, you know, purple commanders which you can easily obtain. Okay. Other than that, leave a comment down below. What do you think about these creative bill? I personally 
enjoy fighting with uh, Mangodorian here and uh, it, it is a really great build and I'll see you in the next content.